and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a what I eat in a day, a full day of eating, and it's going to be, oh, come here. So are you, sit down. <laughs> Whoa. Um, I'm, I don't have a ton of groceries. I have not planned out this video, so it's going to be like a very raw, real what I eat in a day. And I, it's probably about 10 o'clock. I have not eaten breakfast yet. 2020, I am trying to actually eat more in the day. I've actually been dealing with some hair loss. Um, and I really honestly had freaked out and thought it had something to do with my diet. But the more that I research and the more I have been tracking um, and keeping up with all of my nutrients through, I used an app called Chronometer, Chronometer, or however you say it. Anyway, it keeps track of all of the vitamins and minerals that you're getting within a day. I've realized that I think part of my hair loss journey was stress, <laughs> um, go figure. And the other part was insufficient calories. I have a busy life and that is part of my new year's is to just kind of like take care of myself better. Let's go have some food. Em, you want some avocado toast? Yeah. Okay. I think I'm gonna make peanut butter and banana toast that, too. Oh. Well, that's typical. All right, so this is my finished breakfast. Um, I did not get fancy with the avocado toast. It's literally just everything bagel seasoning, a little bit of, oh, let me show you the hot sauce, hold on. El Yucateco, Teco, I can't pronounce this, but anyway, they have this one and it's a black label hot sauce and it's um, chili habanero and it's like really smoky. So I like to put a little bit of that. If you put that by itself, it can be a little bit too smoky flavored. So I'll put a little bit of that and then a little bit of Texas peat or lemon juice, whichever. And then because I wanted this to be like a dessert, um, peanut butter, banana toast, I did actually drizzle a little bit of maple syrup on the top and then I did sprinkle some chia seeds as well. The chia seeds are gonna add just a little bit of a crunch and some extra nutrients, some omegas. Um, and some good fiber and all that jazz. So I am just now eating lunch and it is 10.45. I would have liked to have eaten a little bit earlier, but you know, it's life. The kids are just out now outside playing. So I'm gonna go ahead and hurry up and eat this. And while they're playing, I'm gonna actually prep a little bit for lunch. Mm. If you've never had avocado toast, you're missing out so much. Try avocado toast for sure. Oh, another thing too, for the um, avocado toast, I used more of like an artisanal bread and it's, so it's like a little bit more crunchy, um, like chewier. And then for my banana toast, I like, I, I like it to be like really soft, so I used a white wheat. So I don't know, I just have like weird preferences. Twenty-eight. Yeah, 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 I can't remember. Twenty-eight. So twenty-seven is younger than twenty-eight. Watch your fingers. So twenty-eight. Eighty-three. I'm one eye Lila. Mommy, but I'm hungry still. Okay, well, I'm two, three, four. You're not actually counting those, are you? Mm -hmm. Is Math it? class. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The most frustrating part about not eating with the kids is that I'll have, I already fed them breakfast and I had my delicious breakfast and now everybody wants to eat again. <laughs> you want toast? Banana toast? Yeah. Banana toast. Banana Emmy? Toast. Emmy, you already had Two pieces of avocado toast, right? And now banana no. toast. Oh, one. Is it good? Knock, knock. No. Interrupting cow. Moo! <laughs> <laughs> All right, to go along with breakfast, I am gonna take a few supplements. So I ordered these supplements in the process of freaking out about my hair loss, thinking that I wasn't getting enough vitamins, but these are honestly supplements that are amazing for anybody on any diet um, because most people do not get enough greens. Oh my gosh, please do not. 
drink the maple syrup. No, no, <laughs> no, no drinking of the maple syrup, okay? Or standing on that. Okay, let's get down. Let's get, go Mom's had enough of it. Mom's had enough of it. Mom's had enough of it, yeah. All right, so most people do not get enough greens in their diet. So greens are awesome on a busy day. Like if I'm just running around and I have a ton of stuff to do or I'm honestly just eating off of the kids' plates or um, honestly just not focusing on getting all my greens or anything like that, I can just take a scoop of this and go for it. And I am doing them every day right now just to kind of like see if it made a difference with my hair loss. So this one has a digestive enzyme blend with active pre and probiotics. Um, so I'm not gonna read all of those because I can't pronounce half of those anyway. Um, and then it has a fiber blend, which is flaxseed and apple pectin. All right, and then it has um, the amazing grasses or the antioxidant blend is going to have rose hips, organic pineapple, organic carrot, cherry extract, green leaf extract, acai berry, beetroot, raspberry, goji berry, and maca root. And then the actual greens are wheatgrass, barley grass, alfalfa, spinach, spirulina, chlorella, oh my word, and broccoli. This is something that I would highly recommend anybody, like whether you're feeling fine or you think there's something that's depleted in your diet, some kind of superfood green blend is an amazing place to start. The next thing I got is for the kids, and this is a D3, vitamin D3 and B12 gummy. Um, I also bought a D3 for myself. The reason why I bought two separate is this was just a kid's portion size. Um, D3 is something that I highly recommend people taking during the winter because we're not laying out in the sun all day. So B12, I was already taking B12, but I bought this one because it was a liquid version and I felt like it would absorb better. And then something that I started in recently is this Omega DHA. This is a vegan um, Omega extracted from algae. And I started doing this because um, the DHA that you actually get from like chia seeds and flax seeds is an AHA. Um, so I wanted to go ahead and incorporate this into my diet as well. So those are the supplements that I have been taking recently. Um, I don't really feel any different because I am already eating a lot of vitamins and minerals and tons of fiber and carbs and good energy foods. So I don't really feel a difference. Um, with my overall health i will say that when you take these greens you do get like a burst of energy for like the first 30 minutes after you take it to an hour maybe um so that's a really good effect to these but yeah those are the supplements that i'm incorporating along with our plant-based diet leave a comment below on which video you would prefer me to do first the hair loss journey or um my five or 10 or however many zero waste tips. Cheers. I am working on lunch right now. I have leftovers from last night, which we did um, last night was New Year's. So we had, oh my God, it smells so good. Some collards and some black eyed peas. And pretty much I just cooked those with both kind of similar. So the black eyed peas, I put a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of um, bell pepper, onion, garlic, and celery, and a little bit of liquid smoke, and I used vegetable stock to cook that in. And the collars, I used vegetable stock, a little bit of vinegar, a little bit of salt, sugar, cayenne, liquid smoke again. So I'm gonna have those for lunch, but my sister and her boyfriend Trevor are coming over to watch the girls while I run to the chiropractor. Um, and they are gonna be coming straight from the gym, so I wanted to have some food for them too. So I decided to throw together this little cabbage dish. So I just had olive oil and there's onions at the bottom. And I'm throwing in some tomatoes for a little bit of acidity. And I'm going to add a little bit of water and a little bit of hoisin sauce and a little bit of sugar and I'll make this nice like steamed cabbage dish and then I'm gonna just make some rice to go with. All right, so all I had in here was cabbage, onions, tomatoes, a little bit of sugar, salt, and pepper. And this is really evolving because now I'm about to add my homemade garlic chili oil paste. Let me just show you guys this. So imagine some caramelized garlic, salty, 
oil paste type stuff just to like make your food a little bit spicier. If you are interested in this recipe, comment down below and let me know. So I'm going to just add some of this in here. And I use a, I use these Karelian, Karelian, Korean chili flakes. So it adds like this beautiful red color to all my dishes. So I'm just gonna add that to add a little bit of heat, a little bit more garlicky flavor. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of water to the pan as well as a little bit of hoisin sauce for like just, just literally just a tiny bit of hoisin because I don't want it to be really strong flavored. But this is gonna kind of be like this, I don't know, I don't really know what this is, this Asian cabbage stew, I guess, because I am gonna add some water so it's gonna be a little soupier and that way they can put it right on top of the rice. I wish you guys could smell this. Oh my gosh, this stuff is amazing. Let me know if you want this recipe. That is yummy. Oh my, oh my. I might have to make whatever this is, my cover picture. Ooh, some green onions in here, oh. Oh my. That's so good. And it's cabbage. Ooh. Jocelyn, Trevor, y'all about to like this. Y'all better come hungry. Actually, you might not want to because I might have half this gone. This smell, I can't explain to you how, this is so unique, like the tomatoes with the hoisin and the onions, oh my goodness. And it's like sweet and salty, oh, a little bit of kick, a little bit of depth of flavor from the garlic. Oh my goodness, this is so yummy. Make this. I can't give you a recipe because I don't have one, but just watch the video again. It was really easy. That's, mm, that's good. So this is the how I served the kids. They'll eat the beans, the rice, and I did add a little bit of nutritional yeast and a little bit of coconut oil to their rice, and it kind of makes it taste like butter rice. And yeah. <laughs> is it yummy? Is it yummy? Mm -hmm. Wanna see? Okay, sit down. Well, <laughs> The twins probably would have ate the cabbage, but because I put the hot stuff in it, I hate that. Like, I really enjoy spicy, so I try to tweak recipes most of the time, but today I forgot to pull them some out. So the finished product is this delicious cabbage, sweet and salty cabbage stew, some leftover peas and collards, and some rice. It looks yellow because I added nutritional yeast. So that is lunch. Well, my mom is leaving. Bye. For the day and. Not for the day, love you. Well, not for the day. Bye. Bye. So, um, my mom just left and um, so we're, we're having people babysit us. So. I'm not regular people, who am I? So your Aunt Jocelyn? She's my Aunt Jocelyn anyways. All right, I am home from the chiropractor and it's nasty, gross weather outside. I came home and put my robe on and we were watching a movie and I was feeling totally unmotivated to making dinner. And then I got a wonderful text from my mother-in-law that said, aren't you guys coming over? What are we gonna do for dinner? I was like, yes. So Frankie has fire department tonight, which means we usually go over there and we'll have dinner with her which means we will be having Japanese takeout. Most non-American restaurants usually have great vegan options, so Japanese takeout, we just get hibachi vegetables, which have broccoli, carrots, mushrooms, I think that's it, and then rice, and the rice doesn't have egg in it, um, and then I get the ginger sauce on the side, and I get the sriracha sauce on the side. So they also, a lot of times, will have sushi, and you can get veggie rolls, and that's obviously vegan as well. 
anyway, thank you so much for watching today's What I Eat in a Day. Very realistic What I Eat in a Day. Emmy, what was your favorite thing you ate today? Um, my toast. The peanut butter banana toast? Yeah. And my avocado toast. And your avocado toast. Yeah, that was yummy. And what about you, Lala? Toast. What was your favorite? Um, my favorite was the avocado toast and the banana toast. Toast. See? You put all this effort into making all these other meals and then toast is their favorite. That's why you don't cook for kids. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Leave me some comments down below letting me know what you guys would like to see. Next, would you like to see me talking about hair thinning or would you like me to talk more about um, more zero waste habits that we are adding into our life coming this new year um, and also let me know if you would like to see the recipe for the garlic um, chili oil that we put that sh on everything so thanks again for spending the time with me make sure you come back next time yeah see you later